<coughs> oh boy. This video here, man, is you gotta hate the streets. You, if you don't hate the streets, if you're in the streets and you don't hate it, you're a fool. You ain't looking at reality. You can't be. If you're in the streets right now and you're saying you love this shit, you don't know what come along with it. You don't. You don't know what come along with it. It's all right now. The money that you can make in the street, that's cool. You can make the money. Don't get it twisted. That's what you love about it. You love about the money you're making from it. But the shit that come along behind it, you can't tell me you love that shit, man. You can't tell me you love dodging the police. You can't tell me you love dodging the, the jack boys. You see? You can't tell me you love all the slime and shit that come with it. The females that come with it that really just want you for your money. The losses that come along with it. All the all the disloyalty that come along with it. You know, I got homies that I met in the feds. Where well, they say, man, their own cousin came and testified on. Their own cousin. I met dudes in the feds where they people, man, they blood relative. Come and testify on them. You can't tell me you love that shit, man. I'm gonna take when I was in the streets, when I was in the streets, I'm gonna be honest with you. Man, think about how you gotta move. You gotta move solo by yourself a lot of times. You know what I'm saying? At night, you got to duck and dodge. Hope you ain't being followed by the police. Hope you ain't even, you know, when you're leaving the club and shit, hope you ain't being followed by the police. Hope you ain't being followed by the jack boys. You don't know if the female you picking up calling somebody from the set you up because you don't take it to your spot. See, see, all this shit come along with the game. You see, this is why you can't tell me you love the streets. And how about when you go to prison for 10 to 15, 20 years? You still love it then? You still love it then? You're going to tell me you still love the streets after doing 10 to 15 years in prison? You're going to come out, yeah, boy, I done did that. You ready to jump right back out there again? You going to tell me that? Come on, man. That can't be true. That can't be no true, true feeling, man. That just... You just really just program. I was programmed. I'm going to admit it. I was programmed to think the only way I can make money was selling dope. That's the only way I thought I could make it. I'm going to tell you, be honest with you. I done made more money now, legally, owning a business, working hard, getting up on every day, just like the five-minute move. I'm getting up every motherfucking day working, working, grinding. I done made more money working than niggas so dope. Owning a business, I'm telling you. And the power that it give you, the leverage. And then once you really understand what a real true asset is. An asset ain't all the, I mean, you buy the jewelry, yeah. Your money though. But is it, is it appreciating with time? I'm telling you young guys, if you're in the streets, take that money and buy you some property. A, a two bedroom, three bedroom crib, at least to get your foot in the game, man. Cause you're gonna need it once you get older. See, once you get my age, you're gonna need that. You're going to need that property once you get by my age. You know what I'm saying? You're going to need it then. That's when it's going to come in play. Right now, you don't see you don't see the use of it. You'd rather have the jury because most of y'all ain't got no chalk game. Most of y'all don't just know how to pull up and put that game on the females and make them come to you. See, most of y'all don't, don't get, y'all don't got that no more. Y'all got to do this here now. You know what I'm saying? You got to show the jury and all that there to get to get the chicks. You know what I'm saying? That, that's how y'all get them now. That's how y'all see. Y'all don't know how to pull up. You know what I'm saying? Hey, look at her, baby. You know what I'm saying? Shoot that game to him. Boom, boom, boom. Then they just fall in love with what you say to him. See, that's a whole different, that's a whole different play. You know, right now it's all about the money. See, y'all, the game's so fucked up. You know, <laughs> the whole thing, y'all gotta give, y'all gotta come out them pockets for everything you motherfucking want. And you don't know how to put a female on your team and, you know, but that's, that's, that's a different scroll for different folks. Different scroll for different folks. But once again, man, ain't no way in hell you gonna tell me you love the streets. Because at the end of the day, look at everybody who was in it. The majority of them got fucked up by the streets, man. By everybody that's playing in the streets. Because ain't nobody playing by no set of rules no more, man. Ain't no rules out here. The rules fucked up. The rules fucked up, man. I'm just trying to give you guys some information that a lot of people ain't going to tell you. They don't give a fuck. They ain't going to tell you, you know. But I'm telling you, the game fucked up, dog. So, you can listen to me or you can... 
Go ahead and do it your way, but I'm telling you, man, you can't tell me you love the streets. Really think about it. Do you really want to go to prison? See, when I was in the game and the shit that I was doing, I knew that the chances are I might end up in prison. I knew it was complicated. You know, repercussion behind the activity that I was involved in. And you may be going for, is you ready to lay down for 10, 15 years, 20 years? I want to ask yourself that question. Is you ready to go lay down? Now, if you ready to go lay down, keep doing you. But if you ain't, think about it, man. If you got a little cheese, if you got your little bread, go ahead and get you some property, man. My verse, get you some property. At least you got a roof. Food, water, and shelter. That's what I tell everybody. In order to be winning on this planet called Earth, you only need food, food, water, and shelter. Food, water, and shelter. And once you can provide food, water, and shelter for yourself, you're straight. See, you could be balding all the way till you're 35 and catch a case and do 20. If you ain't bought nothing, what you gonna have when you get out? Come on, man, you better think. You could be balling all the way till you're 25 and catch a dub. You'll be 45 when you get down to 42, 43 when you get out. What you gonna have when you ain't bought nothing? You see? I was blessed to be able to come home still and have some property that I had them purchase for my time out there in the streets. The little money that I had, I was able to purchase a couple of little things. And just so happened I had a blessed mom, I mean a mom that stood behind me and held on to the little things that we was able to accumulate while I was out there. And that's a lot of things. You ain't got that type of backbone behind you. I mean, I'm blessed to have that backbone behind me able to hold on to whatever we had. And once I came home, it's my responsibility to make sure I do what I do. You know? So a lot of y'all ain't blessed with that. So if you ain't blessed with that, you gotta go ahead and make a move now while you got that cheese, homie. You know? I'm just giving some game, man, cause y'all right now, y'all ain't got no homies y'all can really talk to that can really relate to you, so I can relate to you. You know? My thing is, man, got you some money, buy you some assets while you can. Make it happen or you cap it.